All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Hobby CNC with Dave show. My uh, sidekick, Ryan, should be along here shortly. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll kill a little time here. I wanted to uh, talk a minute about, uh, you know, this is going to be one of what I call the show and tell type shows. And uh, I just want to make sure everybody understands how I how I come up with some of these projects that I'm going to be showing tonight. Uh, what I do is I kind of just look around, you know, at the different posts in Facebook, like everybody does. Uh, you know, I belong to several different uh, CNC type Facebook groups. So I'm always looking for something to catch my eye or something unusual or, you know, something like that. And I, if I find something, I will uh, contact that person with uh, usually a Facebook message and ask them if it's okay that if, you know, if I show the stuff and if they've got a website or a Facebook page or an Etsy store or anything like that, they want me to plug, I'll be happy to do that as well. So that's uh, all of these projects that you see tonight came from, from that. Now, some, uh, unfortunately I had, I got a big long list. You're going to see me looking all around because I've got a list over here on this screen. I've got the photos queued up over here on this screen. I've got another list right in front of me here to make sure I don't screw up anything. But, um, unfortunately there are some people who never did get back with me. And like I said, even though, you know, it's Facebook and, you know, a lot of it everybody sees, but still some of these groups are private groups. So I let them know that when I send them the message that, hey, I'd like to sh show off your pictures on my show, but I'm not going to show them unless you tell me it's OK. So I did have some folks that didn't get back with me. And that's unfortunate because there's some really awesome projects <laughs> that uh, that I won't get to show tonight. But uh, but who knows? Uh, so anyway, if you are one of those people that, uh, that I contacted and you're watching out there tonight, just remember that if you didn't send me a message back and say, yeah, it's okay for you to show my stuff, don't be mad if I don't show it tonight because I won't be showing it. I'll only be showing the ones that, uh, definitely gave me the go ahead. And another thing too, you know, a lot of times people will post projects, uh, you know, maybe it's a gift for somebody you know, a wedding gift or birthday gift or who knows what. And, uh, you know, they post it in a group because they know it's private and they know nobody will see it. And not that anybody would, you know, the chance of them still seeing it here is slim and none probably, but I still don't want to uh, show anything unless somebody says it's okay. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll get to moving on here in a minute. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, Wait and see if Ryan shows up here in a minute because I'm going to need his help watching the comments. But while I'm waiting on that, I might as well say hello to some folks here. Let's go down and do a few, uh, few howdies down here. We got Steven Toronto in the house. How you doing, Steven? Dave Krause. Hello, Dave. John Thompson. Hello from South Jersey, he says. Roger the Tinker. Hi, all from Wet and Jury, Michigan. Well, Michigan should be uh, happy tonight. They uh, made it to the Sweet 16. In, uh, there he is. We'll, we'll bring Ryan on in here. Uh, yeah, they made it to the Sweet 16. Uh, they beat uh, Tennessee. And the good thing is, Juwan Howard didn't even have to punch anybody. Uh, so they will be playing in the Sweet 16. Bob Woods here. Hi, Bob. How you doing? Troy Pritchard, Marcelo's here, how you doing, Paul Stewart, Jason Omi. I'm going to try to go through these real quick now that, now that the Wolfman's here. Thomas Grimm is here, Earl Walker, Mark Lindsay, Dave B's here, Neil, let's see, Slinsker, I think. I probably butchered your name, Neil. I apologize if I did. Kevin Harder, Lou Thomas, Ed Newman. There's JR from Trade Skillers Anonymous. 
Rob Schuster, Gary Raglan. Let's see if I can get everybody in here before we get started. There's Stephen, Stephen Main from Australia. Welcome. Michael's here. Greg Euler. Clyde CNC's here. Keith Stanford. Dennis Mills. And I'm going to stop because I think that's all of them as of right now. <laughs> if I keep going, I won't ever won't have time to show all the pictures. But uh, anyway, thank you all for tuning in tonight. We have got uh, some cool pictures there, Wolfman. I hope you... Uh, and you haven't seen any of these, you, so you have no, no, not yet. So, when you see the the look on his face, it'll be the first time he's seeing some of these photos. And another thing I want to uh, mention is there really isn't any good way for me to do this as far as the order of the pictures and stuff like that. So what I did is I, and I'm trying to. The reason I got so many notes is I'm trying to make sure that I don't show a picture and then have the wrong name associated with it. I want to make sure I get everybody's name right. And also I'll be so saying what group I found that picture in. So I made folders, which is the best way to organize stuff for me. And so basically I'm just going to go in kind of alphabetical order by the folder name, which uh, is going to be the name of the group. So the first one I'll be starting with is bob's cnc evolution series group which is uh folks that have a e3 e4 evo4 evo3 evo5 all of those and i guess the kls uh, maybe two i don't know if they're in they might have a separate group i don't know uh, but anyway i'm going to start right here and Ryan, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, I won't be watching the chat much at all. So I got it. I've got uh, a lot of banners to help keep me straight here. So this is uh, the first group I'm looking in, and the first guy up is Chris. Um, so we'll just get going here and show these. This I thought was pretty interesting. He's got uh, a lot of different little signs. Uh, you've seen these signs, uh, you know, someplace where they'll, uh, I think the, the mash always comes to mind when I think of signs like this because they always had uh, different cities and stuff listed and how far away they are. But anyway, you can see all the different colorful signs here. I like how happy hour is upside down. Yeah, and then here's a, a shot of it where it's on a nice post here. But let's see if I can kind of bring that in a little bit. We can read the signs. But it says Two Kings Casino, Seven Miles, uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina, 276 miles. So I think that's pretty cool. Happy Hour says zero miles. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can see. What that, okay, there's the... Uh, Latitude and longitude coordinates there for uh, Kings Mountain, North Carolina. But anyway, that's something you don't see every day. I thought that was kind of a cool, cool little project. So great job there, Chris. And again, that was from the uh, um, Bob C and C Evolution Group. The next uh, project that I spotted here is Sean McKinney and this is I'm probably going to have to try to zoom in a little bit here I don't know what what do you call these things a cutting board I guess or is that what they yeah. call what you what you call this yeah, it looks like a regular cutting board but uh it's got, got the little of, uh, the groove around it but it's you know and I'm I'm not sure I've been trying to zoom in on this I don't know if this is paint or uh, I, I don't think it's uh, resin inlay, but I could be wrong. Yeah, this may be just paint, but then he's got inlays over here that are really nice on this one. Yeah, I like how they change uh, colors for the um, different hotness of the paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was really clever. 
And here's some close-ups of the uh, inlay. So they're... Uh, That's nice and tight. Yeah, nice and tight. And there's a lot of close-up shots. I'm still not sure. I'm thinking that may be paint. I, I'm... That looks like resin to me. Oh, does it? Because if you look at it, 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 I mean, you don't see any any depth at all. Like, uh, you know, if you painted it, it, would you'd see the sides of the letters and stuff like that. So I would say that that's probably, um, you know, all uh, resin. Yeah. Let me see if I can find a note. Uh, oh, I should back up too because I already I've already screwed up hmm. tonight. Look at there. That Chris said that he doesn't have a YouTube channel or website, but he has a Facebook page, Carolina CNC Design. So that was for the first picture with the the uh, travel signs. If you zoom and, in on the cayenne pepper, the E in the middle of cayenne, you can yeah. I think you can see that it's resin. Yeah, so you look, see how it's, uh, you can see the, the middle of the E a little bit below the surface. Okay. So I think that's, I think that's. Yeah, I see another E that's kind of full there too. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Sean says mostly he has an Instagram account, Facebook, and Etsy page. All three of his social media are under the name Hokey made that's h-o-k-i-e-m-a-d-e -E. so let's see i mean got a lot of a lot of good close-ups here of this thing yeah there he is when he started out again another close-up of the inlays Yeah, turned out yeah, really they, good. yeah, I'm I'm still undecided whether that's uh, and also in a lot of these projects, I would try to go back to the original post and if they had any notes and stuff about you know what it was run at, feeds and speeds, and depth of cut and all that stuff, I'd kind of copy and paste it over here into my notes, but I didn't see anything for this particular project. And I don't know if Sean's out there, but Sean, if you are, throw something in the chat there and uh, let us know for sure. It looks great, whatever whatever it is. And then here was a uh, another project he did too. Looks like an F1 car. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. All right. That's cool. The colors look good. Okay. Let's see here. And this is also from this group here, the Evolution Series. This is from Stephen Poff. Uh, he says, uh, let me get him queued up here. Okay. This says, Bob CNC E4 machine. Here's a couple of flags I've got done since being in quarantine. And he says he has a Facebook page, Crosscut Woodworks. And, you know, you see a lot of flags uh, on Facebook. You know, there's a lot of flags, but I, there's several of them here. And I think these are really super nice. Uh, I'll just kind of go through them here. There's one with the eagle on it. There's one with the boots and the helmet. That's very nicely done. That's cool. I like how he did the grommets on the top too. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, these just, you know, they as I was looking through the stuff, these things just kind of pop out, me, pop out at me because it's stuff you don't, normally see but this one i mean look at the uh yeah just really nice and let's see if i can see well i guess that's all i had was crosscut woodworks is his facebook page and i didn't find anything on how we did these 
but they are, uh, let's see, was that the, it? oh, no, one more, there's another one, those are just really um, exceptional, I think, got one with old Uncle Sam there, All right, I think I think that was the last one. But yeah, those are. Uh, I'll go back through them one more time. Those were really well done. All righty, let's see. That's uh, that's all I had from the Bob C and C Evolution series, and now I I looked through. Uh, Bob CNC Revolution Rotating Axis CNC Group. And this guy right here uh, has some pretty cool stuff. Let me get it queued up here. Let's see if anybody can recognize what this stuff is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now this isn't finished, but it's got, look at all that detail on it. And again, this is on the, uh, the little revolution machine. Very cool. Wow. So you're going to have to up your game, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's I pretty. Made uh, <laughs> I made a round thing so far. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Jeez. You know, it's stupid what these machines can do. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's, it's so insane. insane. It's crazy. All right, he's got, I had several pictures of this, uh, this uh, thing here. And then I, he has this oh, one here. Tiki. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Lots of cool detail on that. <laughs> stormtrooper tiki yeah a little stormtrooper so that's very cool and let me, let me I, did i put the yeah i got the name guy's name up there brian he's uh he's got a lot of cool stuff uh yeah that's cool in that in that group so keep up the uh keep up the good work brian gives me uh lots of uh motivation to get out there on that bob's revolution and Try to come oh, up yeah. with something, something cool like that. Uh, Harry, Harry's uh, he's a just a minute. There's a fault on the AE thirty five unit, Dave. <laughs> All righty, let's see here. Go. Let's see here. Okay, the next one. And again, I'm just taking these in kind of alphabetical order as they were the folder name so i got cnc for beginners i think i have um all right if i remember right let me double check my list yeah that that person never got in touch with me so i'm not going to show those and that's unfortunate because they were pretty cool but uh this guy did so oops didn't get it queued up all the way. Now this, you know, you might look at this and go, well, big deal, Dave. It's just a hanger. But I'm thinking, that's pretty cool. I have never seen anybody put a hanger, you know, or make a hanger with their name on it like that. Uh, all personalized that, and stuff. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I just thought that was cool. It's not something you would see every day. And I bet if you made a hanger with somebody's name on it, they would really like it. Uh, oh, yeah. Especially like if you have, you know, your your jacket and stuff like that. And Yeah, it's just kind of classy, I think. Hang it on your hanger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned his name. This is Sean Manning, and this is from the CNC for Beginners group. Um, and I believe that's the only pictures I had from that. Um, while you're looking for the next one, um, Marcelo had a question, which was, uh, if the flags were filled with epoxy or painted, 
uh, I think they were painted, but you didn't have any information on it from what you were saying before anymore. Yes, I did not. And, um, I think they were, I think they were painted too. I can go back and look real quick. Let's see. That was uh, Steven. We'll go back and take a quick look at that. I'm guessing it's painted just because when you zoom in, it looks like all the stars are V carved. Yeah. Yeah. See when you get, it looks like it, it looks like paint to me. I think it's paint, but I, you know, I wish I wish I had all the information about them or they were in the chat, but um, not everybody's here watching. So, okay, so that was Sean from CNC for Beginners Group. Let me get another one queued up here. This one I found in Gatton CNC Facebook Group. Fancy that! And oh, this is from. George, he is killing it with this stuff here. Now you're probably looking at that going, what the heck? What the heck is that? Well, let me find, uh, I think I put notes over here where he said it. Eh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I guess I did not copy and paste what he had on there. But anyway, this is some uh, white PVC that I remember him saying in a post. And here he is, he's at that resin stuff again. And this thing just looks fantastic. He's, uh, I think this is like the third or fourth resin project I've seen him post in that group. And uh, it looks pretty cool. That is awesome. But I thought it was funny because it's like he's trying to water that tree to get it to grow. So he can... <laughs> yeah. So he's wa he's waiting on COVID to end. I think is what the caption was. <laughs> when he, if I remember correctly, George, if you're out there, uh, let us know. I don't know if he's out there in the chat or not, but he is just really killing it with the resin stuff. That is, yeah. Uh, the, the detail that came out on that is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a great job on that stuff. Just a great job. Because it sure, it sure don't look like much there or even there. But then when you get to there, it's like, wow. That's really cool. Well done, George. All right. Let's see here. The next group that I'm going to show is from the Long Mill and Mill One Users Group. Let me get those queued up. And let's see. And here was, I had a couple of people that had uh, some really cool stuff and then they never got back with me. So I will not be... Yeah, no, it's kind of a bummer because you, you see these cool projects and I'm sure they probably wouldn't care, but it's like, I just, you know, I don't want to start trying to assume stuff. So, but anyway, this is from uh, Clyde Greening. I don't know if you're out in the chat or not, Clyde, but uh, this is uh, another one of those cribbage board things. And again, I, I have no idea how to play that game, but it, these things are really cool. And this, the second picture is really the same thing, but he's, I guess, stained it right there oh, yeah. on the loose uh, on the inside. And that, that contrasting color just looks fantastic. Yeah. So. Wow. Very cool. And I think, yeah, well, let's see. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, the only, that's the only two pictures I have of that one. So, uh, like I said, unfortunately, 
Oh, I got a, I got another one, and I didn't put this guy's name here. Okay, this is, uh, again, this is from the Long Mill and Mill One Users Group, and this guy's name is John Dixon. I don't have a banner made up, but I wanted to show this one because this one is really clean looking. Uh, and I also think it's interesting the way he's got his table made. It looks like he's using... Um, the, uh, what do you call them, the cam clamp type things, because he's got, looks like some, looks like some gray PVC pipe that he's sticking in there to use as uh, stops or whatever. Yeah. Bench dogs type things, and uh, anyway, I just thought that was pretty cool, but this one kind of jumped out at me because the text is kind of fancy and uh, real clean looking. I like that. Yeah, it turned out really good. So well done. That, again, that was John Dixon. So well done, John. And let's see who we've got next. Let me Mark see. says that uh, folks love their cribbage boards. And yeah, uh, you know, you see a ton of them on there. Uh, and nobody plays it around here. Um, but uh, and then Harry says uh, Harry Raglan that says that uh, especially if you're in the U.S. submarine service, yeah, you gotta be kind of crazy to get in one of those boats. So <laughs> maybe <he> play the <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I got a buddy that's a uh, um, he's a weld inspector for the submarines and stuff like that out in Washington State, and yeah, there no, I, you know, I've toured a couple of submarines. You would not get me a be a stay on one of those things. <laughs> no way. Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think I'd want to be in one of those either. Uh, let's see here. Who have I got next? Okay, the next group we've got is from the Onefinity group, and that is. Let me get it over here so I can read it right. They are the One Onefinity CNC Users Group. And it also says official. So I, I don't know if there's an unofficial group by that name, but uh, I only know of this one. But anyway, that the one, this one here says official on it too. So uh, anyway, the first uh, person up on this one, and this one I've got uh, quite a few folks. Uh, this is... Uh, and this actually, I had uh, spotted this one quite a while ago. I've, I've had this one uh, saved for a while, but this is from Aaron Brown, wow. and that is just again, this is you know something you don't see all the time. You see a lot of cool projects, but I'm, I'm when I see something like this, that's you know you just don't see every day. It catches my eye, but I really thought that was cool. I like the way he's got it laced together there with looks like yeah. some leather or faux leather uh, stuff there. And they're like complete opposites too. You know, even the grain pattern's different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's just he probably made somebody really happy when they got yeah. that one, is what I'm thinking. So good job there, Aaron. Very nice. Uh, let's see who else I got. I think I just had that one photo from Aaron. Okay, this is from Brett Har Hardesty, I guess. Let me get these up here and let me see what, um, let me see if I got any notes on these. Oh, I should have, uh, yeah, I had one for. All right, the one we just looked at, the heart, from Aaron Brown. It says, the heart is made from maple and walnut. The frame is made from zebra. Total cut time for the heart was six hours using a jenny and a skinny jenny. And he's talking about the bits. If you all saw the show the other week, we had uh, Cody's engraving on, uh, Cody Elkins. He says this was uh, 19.75 inches by 16 inches for the frame. The heart 
is 14 inches by 12 by one and a half. And he has a Facebook page uh, called Jute Boxes Woodcrafts. Jute Boxes Woodcrafts. And that was Aaron Brown. Okay. Now, since I screwed that one up again, I apologize for screwing up. But I got so many, so many things to look at. I keep forgetting to look over here. Okay, this one from Brett Hardesty. Let me get the picture up here. Says, uh, no website or anything. I do have a Facebook page. Rough Around the Edges Woodworking. That's a good name. I like that. And here he's got a uh, Second Amendment uh, thing. Let's see. I, I know there's some more here. That's cool. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. I think, uh, yeah, I think it was just those two. I hadn't yet. You could see the other one up there as well. Very well done, Brett. Good job. Yeah, these turned out really good. All righty. Now let me see who we got next here. All right. I got a bunch of pictures in this folder. This is from a gentleman by the name of Jason Woodruff. Jason, I don't know if you're out there watching, but... Thanks for letting me uh, show off your pictures. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure which which of these go with, because uh, I got a bunch of pictures from him, but he said that my newest car, fresh off the presses, I have been running some advanced settings for a few weeks now and just wanted to share this. After changing my acceleration and jerk rates, I got this down. 45 minutes total, 11 by 7 by 3 quarter thick. 1 8 inch tapered ball nose, 190 inches a minute, 177 for the plunge, 12,000 RPM, 22% step over. Uh, okay. Anyway, I think oh, that's the, in the chat. Is he in the Okay, yeah, okay, good. All right, well, I'm going to start flipping through these because I got a bunch of pictures that he had posted. Now these, you're probably looking at this going, what in the heck are you showing that for, Dave? I have a, I have a method to my madness here. I like, I'm just going to probably make some people mad, but I like when people make their own dust shoes. I think the best dust shoes you can make are the ones you make out of stuff like that. Just, and I'm not sure, I think there's two different, uh, uh, two different designs. If he's out there, he can kind of let me know. It's not up on the screen, Dave. Oh, I'm sitting here. <laughs> you idiot. There we go. Okay, so this was the first one, first picture. Well, what I just said about the dust shoes probably don't make any sense in there. Yeah, no, it wasn't. But it will when I get to this. There you but go. This is, uh, you know, somebody that's making his own dust shoe, working on his own design. And I think these type of dust shoes are way better than the, the little plastic things you get. So I really, I really, that's why, I, that's why I grabbed these pictures. Cause I thought, yeah, and I can tell he's using, looks like he's using the same kind of, brushes or bristles that I like to use. And uh, Jason, you can let me know if you're out there in the chat. It looks like um, you did what I like to do is just cut a groove just slightly smaller than that little rubber trim piece and then just push it down in there. You don't even have to glue it. You can just push it down in there and it will stay and it glides over stuff. But yeah, so it, you know, I went a little crazy here getting all the pictures he had posted on, on just nothing but a dust shoe. But I really, really like it when somebody makes their own dust shoe. And I think they're far superior than the, the other little plastic ones with the magnets and all that kind of stuff. Because I know I love mine. And I've had 
two of them that are basically identical, except for one's a little bit different diameter. One's on my Gatton CNC and the other one's on my Avid. And they're just, they're not very pretty, but man, do they work great. Made mine out of plywood. So Justin, since you're out there, what was your, what, what's the reasoning for um, not having the, I guess the vacuum port being completely open and the, uh, the brushes like being smaller like that? Did, did you have a reason for doing that? Well, I, if I, would, you... I would think that it would be, you know, choking down the, the suction factor on it, but I mean, I'm, I'm probably wrong. Well, one thing I can think of is you can see the, the spindle or router goes here. Yeah. And then this one is one that's got, looks like that half a hole. So when it's sticking out, even though this is, might be sticking off the front of the machine where you would lose the so-called suction from, okay. from here, yeah, I get that. by keeping this sh shorter, that because uh, I know that's the only time mine won't pick up is when it because mine's made where it sticks out the front and the only time is when I get it hanging off but that's why I usually start my stuff that far you know about six inches or so in off the edge of the table so mine never really hangs off that much anyway Okay, now we're getting some more of the projects that he had posted, and I thought this was oh wow, pretty, pretty, uh, I guess cool or little little weird, but I like it. <laughs> a little weird. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's and, cool looking. I, you know, the, the even the the so the frame of it's kind of cattywampus and stuff, and it looks like. Looks like somebody's trying to climb through there. I just, I just thought it was cool. Yeah, it's neat looking. Wow. Okay, I think, uh, let me go back here. Because Tim, Timber Falls is who uh, Justin is, right? Or Jason, not Justin. Yes. Uh, yeah okay so he's saying it's very bit on the inside i show that in one picture it's open all the way up to the port uh, okay yeah abstract's a good word <laughs> marcello uh that's probably better than weird but i still uh, i still like it but uh yeah, let me go. I think there's a few more pictures of that too from different angles. I just thought, I just thought that was cool. Yeah, it's neat. You know, have you ever even seen anything even remotely close to that? I haven't. Nope. <laughs> well done, Jason. I really like that. Yeah, those were good. Uh, Let's see who we got left here okay now this this person and again i don't know they might be out in the chat i don't know <laughs> jason says my wife likes creepy things <laughs> yeah, okay there you go uh this is from uh, let me get back over here to get to right oh, well let me go ahead and do this one first Okay, this is from, again, from the Onefinity CNC users group. This is Virgil. And I'm not sure, I think. Let's see, did he give me any info? Okay, Virgil says, uh, my website is gifts603.com. That's G-I-F-T-S 603.com. He says, I do not have a lot of CNC products there. I'm actually working on changing platforms. And he has a Facebook page. Yeah, he also has a Facebook page called Gifts 603. Uh, 
but I don't I don't have any information about this particular product but I'm guessing that that is resin looks like it looks like it I don't know how he would get those swirly things in the paint I guess he could have but uh, unless you use real garlic see that that looks like resin to me yeah and it's pretty it's cool cool little project too I think this one probably shows it best. Schoolhouse Gardens. That's nice. I like that. I like that. All right. This next person. Um, this is uh, Kevin Latimer. And I believe I found his picture posted in the onefinity group but then when he messaged me and he's got some good stuff here when he messaged me he says he actually did this using a shapeoko pro in vcar pro software wow so, so that is very nice there and let's see what else we got here. Um, look like a birth uh, plaque there. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's from a while ago, it looks like. Or at least the, yeah. the, the, the child is, is uh, what, 13 years old now? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is another cool one. This looks like a piece of cedar or something. I like that. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And Kevin and Liz looks like. Looks like some, uh, what is that, gnomes or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little teddy bear. And just lots of good detail in there. Really nice. I don't know if there's any. No, I guess that's it on that one. Well done, Kevin. That uh, again. That he said that was done with a Shapeoko Pro and a VCar Pro software. Uh, let's see who I got next here. Turned out good. Thanks for sharing, Kevin. All right. Yeah, I had one more in that thing, but again, I didn't hear back from them, so I won't, won't show this one. Okay, this one. I didn't hear from them. Okay, here we go. We got, we got some here. This is from the Saint Smart Jinitsu CNC Users Group. And if you're not familiar with those machines, those are the um, very inexpensive little machines that a lot of people think can't make stuff. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that because I've got some cool pictures of stuff that people are making with them. Uh, there's a nice, uh, I guess, another cribbage board. You're not on, it's not on the screen. Oh, oh, let me get over here. Okay. Let me, there you go. Oh, yeah. wow. Got to keep me straight here. Right? <laughs> so that, that's very cool looking. Let's see what else we got. Can y'all hear that noise? Oh, Jack's right behind me asleep. And when he dreams, he gets happy and his tail wags. So you hear his <laughs> If you can hear that thumping, that's Jack's tail thumping on the floor because he's having him having himself a good dream. Okay, another uh, somebody's into cribbage boards here, I think. Let's see, did I find anything? Let me see if I got. Uh, oh, I didn't put his name up here either. This is Jonathan Mayo. Let's see. Okay, he's running a 4030. So if you know, if anybody knows anything about these little Sane Smart machines, 
This is a 4030 Prover XL running a palm router for a spindle. Um, he says he doesn't have a website, just a Facebook page for himself and his shop. And it is called, his Facebook page is Osippi Trail Woodworks. O-S-S-I-P-P, -P, or I'm sorry, O-S-S-I-P-E-E -E, Trail Woodworks. And he's uh, another cribbage board. There's one there. I like I said, these cribbage boards must be really popular. But that's, uh, is that the same one? Nope, that's, that one says Maine, so that's a different one. Uh, or, yeah, just some really nice work. Yeah. A little puppy dog. Dome. And you can tell that's on a cribbage board too. Uh, <laughs> there's a nice uh, compass thing. All the places you'll go. I like that. All right, yeah, it looks like that's all of uh, all of that. But I was pretty impressed when I saw these. You know, because again, that's from that uh, Saint Smart group that has the you know the little yeah little tiny machines that 40 30 i think if i you know the, i think the way they do it 40 30 means that it's 400 uh, millimeters by 300 millimeters or 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters somebody can correct me if i'm wrong on that but i think that's you know and that's not very much when you yeah, think no, about it like a foot. yeah that's not uh, that's not very big at all so no harry's on it 16 by 12. okay all right and i think i've got uh another one from that group that did get back with me so let me get these queued up and this is from kaylee wow. biss and let me, it's hard to see until you, until I get zoomed in here when you look at the detail on that thing. Look at that. Jeez. That Ooh. is just, yeah. And let's see, I think she's got, uh, okay, she's using... Now, I don't know which one of these these um, pictures, because I've got, let me go ahead and go through them, because there's that one, then there's this one. Okay, there's some, like, panda bears. Uh, she says, uh, pandas on some cherry use Carvco to import the STL that she got from Colts 3D and place on a dish relief cut with the Saint Smart 3018 Prover. And that is one of those really little bitty machines. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure I mean, look 3018 the is, the one, I mean, is the one that's like the, the hybrid style where the table moves, you know, it, it's got the fixed gantry. So you got the X and the Z and then the Y is the table moving in and out, I think. so. But anyway, so that's, yeah, so that's the pandas on the cherry. Now, this other one that I did, I think, here's one I, that I just grabbed uh, the last day or two. It's also pretty nice. Got some bees in there. But I this one, that one takes. Like that elephant one? This one, uh, this one that? here, she says... It was a, are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? <laughs> a 90 hour carve. Oh, wow. I don't doubt it though. On the 3018 like a, Prover, roughed and profiled with a 
3.175 millimeter bit, which that's what about an eighth inch, I think. Yeah. And fine with a, uh, or finished with the 0.25 millimeter bit worth the wait. And I would, that's, that's her word. She's saying worth the wait. And I would have to agree. That is just, it is amazing. And to me, it's as I, you know, you know how I am. I've been, <laughs> I've been running these CNC things a while. So when I see something like that, and I know that they made it on one of those little dinky machines, I'm thinking, holy cow! Yep. Talk about having it dialed in. Okay. That is, that is dialed in right there. By the way, I see uh, Jr. hit me up with another uh, super chat. Appreciate you, buddy. You are the man for sure. And if you did, if you missed it, by the way, since I'm talking about JR right quick, if you missed it last night, he had, um, tell me if I get his name wrong, Jace, I think his name was Jason Bentz from Bentz Woodworking. Uh, JR did a live stream. Last night, started at 9, but you can go and check it out on the replay. Uh, very, very cool. The guy's, uh, he, well, the guy's got a CNC, but from what I, that's kind of why I was hanging around, JR, watching the thing, because I kept waiting to find out, you know, me, I like to hear the CNC stuff. Uh, but I guess he's not really into it yet. He's hadn't had time to learn the software, but he just a lot of woodworking knowledge and stuff. Just really a, a good show. So go check that out. Uh, on the replay, it's on uh, JR's channel, Trade Skillers Anonymous. Um, yeah, a bunch of the guys are talking about that, uh, that carve and, you know, five days of carve time. I mean, can you imagine the pucker factor that you have going on when that thing is, you know, day three? I remember the the pucker factor I had trying to run this, and this was only like 18 hours. And it's not really, you know, nothing like that. But, but yeah. Whew. And Mike says uh, that is impressive on the 318. I agree. I agree. Yeah. That's it. See, that's, that's, that's what I was trying to say the other night. You know, sometimes I get on my little soapbox, but, you know, a lot of people think, ah, oh, you're just wasting your money because I, I see them. I see folks tell other folks all the time in those Facebook groups, don't waste your money on anything less than, you know, a thousand bucks or whatever. And I can't disagree with that more, you know, get, if that's all you can afford, get it. And you get it dialed in and you can do stuff like that. And plus, if you're brand new, it'll help you learn about CNC. And you, it doesn't, just because you buy one of those cheap things don't mean you have to stick with it. You know, you can always graduate and move up. But yeah, that's a 90 hour carve. That's uh, pretty amazing. Todd says, uh, that's got to be a record. <laughs> I don't know. It might be a record for one I've had on my show that, that they say how long it took. I don't know. But just... Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Just very cool. All right. Let me see. I think we've got... Uh, let's see. That was the Sane Smart group. Uh, let's see if I got anybody else. No, I had one other person, but... Uh, they didn't get back with me, so I'm not going to show that. All right, I got one group left, and we're right at an hour here, so this is working out uh, about right. But this is, uh, oh, thank you, Chris. Chris hit me up with a super sticker. I appreciate you. Um, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you. I didn't even have to run my little uh, annoying video break thing. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's paying off. Maybe they'll maybe they'll do a super chat or a thing so that I so they don't do that. <laughs> anyway, um, but any of the rest of y'all can still hit the uh, thumbs up and stuff too. I appreciate that. That, that helps too. 
All righty, let me see. Let me get back over here. This last group is from a group called The Make. Um, I've been a member of that group for just a short time, but uh, I have a... Let's see if I got much. Oh, see, that guy didn't let me know either. He had some good stuff. I just got one one last picture here. All these people are missing out. Yeah. Um, and if, this well, is, if we have time to, Todd sent you some stuff to your uh, email. Okay, I'll have to open up my email because I don't even keep it open because it always makes noise when somebody sends something. So I, I usually exit out of it. This is from... Uh, Lewis Thomas, and I think he was out there in the chat. I'm pretty sure. I saw a Lou Thomas out there. Yep. Uh, and he says, uh, he says, I don't have a website yet, but I do have a Facebook page, Thomas Custom Wooden Creations. He does lots of custom one-off pieces, hand and machine work. Yep, Lou's so, out there. And this is really cool. I really like this. Wow. Now, it's old school. You know, it's got the Indians on it and not <laughs> the Guardians. Not the, yeah, not the Guardians. But I think that's what I like about it. And it's, it's, it's just forever. really not, I mean... Yeah, it's, it turned out really clean. Now, it, really nice. Since he's out there, uh, Lewis, is that uh, is that painted or is it is it resin or because I would think it almost has to be resin because the way that black outline is around that the Indians and the sea and that, that border that just really looks cool. Yeah, it's really clean. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he's out there. Um, Lou, is that uh, is that resin in there, or is that paint, or is it a combination, or so clean looking? Yeah. See, that's what I mean when I see stuff like that. It's like, holy cow, that thing is that thing is awesome. Chief Wah. Everybody doing these fun, good-looking resin one stuff makes me want to do resin. Yeah. Wow. Okay. He he uh, he just responded. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, you. I'm sorry. So you hit it. About the same time I was hit. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Wow. Well, see, that makes it to me. That makes it even more impressive. Because yeah. to have that black outline around there and the, and that's all painted, gee whiz. Well done. Awesome work. Awesome work. Yeah, it turned out really good. All right. I think, uh, okay, yeah, he says no resin. Okay, well, you fooled me. Because especially down there around the Indians, I was thinking that almost looked like it had some swirls in it or something. But yeah, really nice stuff. Yeah. And I hate it for the, I don't know, probably. Let me see how many people I had. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I had about four people that I had some really cool stuff. But they just did not get back in touch with me and give me the okay to show it. So maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. But uh, I'll try to. You know, I really kind of thought when I thought about doing starting this show back up, I really thought that um, I would just, you know, find a few projects every week and and show them at the end of the show or something like that. But then it got to every time I was looking, I'm like, man, I'm finding there's too much cool stuff out there to try to just do a few at the end of, you know, at the end of each show. I'd rather just do a whole show and, uh, and show off some of this stuff. But, uh, yeah, 
Lou but says yeah. that he's uh, finishing up a Cleveland Browns one now. Awesome. Yeah. I wonder if it's a Deshaun Jackson jersey. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's know. Not a Baker Mayfield one. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Poor old Baker. <laughs> anyway. Man, that was that was some awesome stuff. I love these kind of shows because I get fired up when I see all these these cool projects and I think about all the junk I make. <laughs> so some really talented people out there. So uh, if you're out there in the chat watching and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I make some stuff that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tag me uh, when you post it and I'll find it. And um, or you can send it to me in a Facebook message. Some people do that. Um, but I can tell you, if you're if you're in any of these Facebook groups that I'm in and you post a, fi a picture of something that's really cool, I'm probably going to it's probably going to catch my eye and I will be. Uh, showing it here on the show, if I get your permission, like I said, I don't. Uh, don't want to get in trouble for showing something I'm not supposed to. So anyway, that, yeah, uh, really good. some really good inspiring. Did we have any? Uh, let's see, because I hadn't been watching the chat at all. No, I've I've been bringing them up as they were going. Okay, were well, did you tag anything or no? Okay, all right. I didn't know if we had any questions or anything like that um got some uh you know i mentioned oh, i guess it was on the coffee sessions when i mentioned the other day i might start doing some giveaways on here i've got i've had some uh companies contact me you know wanting to send me stuff to do reviews on stuff like that and i, I think i mentioned this on the coffee session the other morning I don't need anything. I got so much stuff. You know, I've been doing this a long time, so I've got every, I've got every kind of thing I need. But anytime they send me something to uh, do a review on it or whatever, I'll meet my little obligation of doing the review video and the unboxing or whatever it might be, and I'll probably just give it away on this show. So uh, I like doing giveaways. The Streamyard has really cool. Uh, uh giveaway i don't know exactly what it's called but it's a thing that they they always do it on their sunday night town hall because they always give if y'all ever saw i used to have a uh, stream yard pillow back here uh, i think i had it sitting back there for a, a while but uh, they do a, a giveaway every sunday night on their town hall and you just put hashtag the yard or whatever I think is what you put in and they selected me that's how I got that pillow I got a pillow and some kind of sweatshirt or something like that but that that the little program or whatever that what do they call that? there's a name something they call it but anyway the little giveaway thing they everybody wanted it so they've made it available where anybody can use it uh, so I'll, I'll probably be uh, using that to give away some of this stuff that people send me to uh, to review and stuff like that. Because like I said, I don't really need any more stuff. I got all kinds of stuff. But uh, anyway, I guess uh, John has a question. He says, just turned on. Do you guys use Fectric? If so, would you know how to design log siding? I use Vectric, as do probably many people here in the chat. But as far as log siding, you'd probably want to look up a gentleman by the name of Mark Lindsay CNC that should still be hanging out in the chat. Maybe. No, he had to bail earlier. Oh, did he? Okay. Well, anyway, if you don't know Mark, Lindsay C and C. I don't know what rock you've been living under, <laughs> but uh, go look him up. He's on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all those things. But he has Tinder. 
grinder. I don't know about all that. But, uh, <laughs> he, he's not watching now, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but yeah, go check out Mark Lindsay, and I'm sure he can show you. He probably, maybe he's got a video on it. Who knows? The guy's got a million videos out. And uh, Mark Lindsay CNC. Or Laney, up. too. Yeah, Troy. In fact, you can Laney catch him too. tomorrow because he's going to be doing, he does a uh, live stream every Sunday um, at 12 p.m. Eastern. No, I'm sorry. 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. So check him out. Mark Lindsay CNC. Can't miss him. Okay, Mike says, I think they call it, just call it the giveaway tool. Yeah, I, I was thinking they had some kind of name, but I guess maybe not. But, uh, yeah, Mike's got some StreamYard swag, too. Yeah, or Laney. Laney Shaughnessy is another good one. He does Spectric tutorials. I think Laney does his on Tuesday nights at about 7 p.m. Eastern, I think. Uh Okay, John says he's a subscriber to Mark. Yeah. Yeah. But you mentioned that uh, you wanted to draw log side to how to design log siding. Well, I guess, I guess maybe it means just the profile or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess we'll get out of here. We've had a pretty good little crowd over there tonight. I appreciate uh, y'all hanging out with us. Hope y'all enjoyed the the project pictures that uh, that we showed tonight. And uh, yeah, there's some good stuff. Jason says, "I've been watching and looking for the wood rack and pinion." Gear setups. Hmm. Now it's funny you mention that because I did a video, but it's been years ago. Probably at least eight or ten years ago on how to make a wooden rack and pinion thing. So you want to hunt it up. I don't know if it'd help you with what you want to do or not, but anyway, we're going to get out of here, I guess. Uh, Ryan, thank you for uh, hanging with me here tonight. My pleasure. You know, it's funny. Oh, congratulations on getting your uh, metal stuff for your oh, thing. Yeah. I saw you had a trailer load of that stuff. Yeah, I got some metal for the building. Good no deal. wood, but just metal. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's one step closer to getting a real shop. So that's good. Yeah. Well, I think you were probably smart to go ahead and buy it before the price continues to. Yeah. Go. Yeah. And that's what we were thinking too. So it's, uh, went ahead and grabbed all the metal for the sides and, uh, um, I'll be able to put it on whenever I can afford the $3,000 worth of lumber that has to go with it too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm probably aiming low on that figure. Yeah, well, you know, you just have to buy a little at a time, I guess. Yeah. And just try to close Do it in wall. by little. Do the next wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're getting out of here. Uh, everybody have a good one. I'm going to have a uh, guest next week. I haven't got uh, I haven't got the thumbnail made up or not, but yet but uh i think you'll i think you'll enjoy next week's show he's an interesting character and uh come on back and uh, check him out all right we're out of here everybody have a good weekend stay safe and we will see y'all later <laughs>